You see, beyond, before that, I always felt not good enough. I was a negative person. But that course taught me to develop an appreciative eye. What would your life be like if you look at everything through the lenses of appreciation? So I started catching people doing right. This is me on holiday in Cebu. I was catching this customer service staff called Rex, serving me well. I posted on Facebook. I was in Chicago en route to Cleveland, and they misplaced my baggage. And this lady at the baggage services assured me. She said, don't worry, sir, I'll, we are on it. And she's from United Airlines. At that particular time, if you remember, they were having bad press because they were bumping a passenger off the flight. So I decided I was going to catch people doing right instead of catching people doing wrong. What you appreciate, appreciates. I see a lot of leaders in the room today. And I see that you are on the journey, the continuous journey to collect insights from the stakeholders, the customers, the HCPs, the healthcare professionals, practitioners, the KOLs that you interact with, and the key government stakeholders. Develop an appreciative eye for this opportunity. You have this opportunity, just reach forward and grab that opportunity. Develop an appreciative eye. And you watch people soar and fly and sparkle right in front of you. This is a lady from Watson's. She was able to detect that I have had a sore throat for many days just by my voice. Fantastic. I post on Facebook. This guy from Jiwo Changi Airport, Joe, the barista, I saw the way he went out of his way to greet every single patron and also store their luggages. I went up to him and I said, bro, what motivates you at work? And he had just one thing to say, to see people happy, to see people smile. Developing an appreciative eye has transformed my life. Earlier on in my life, if you met me about 10 years ago, you won't like me at all. Trust me, you won't. Because I just want to be important. I want to be significant. I'm a braggadocious person. You don't, want to, you don't like me. But since that, I have learned to appreciate people. And what I get in return is way more than that. So C stands for contribution. My question to you is this. Are you just busy collecting nectar? Or are you really aware of your true purpose in life? What are the challenges? What have you learned from those challenges you had in your life? All the challenges as I shared with you earlier on, uh, as I asked you earlier on, what are the key lessons you have learned? And my question is, how can you contribute that which you want to have? If you want to get more, give more. How can you be more of yourself, contribute more at work, so that you can get more of what you want?